What's up, y'all? I'm gonna show y'all how to install a generator interlock kit for the use of a home generator. And you'll just install it here in your panel. So let's let's get started. So in the interlock kit, guys, this is what's included. The good stuff right here, which is this, uh, this plate, it's a metal plate. And of course you got some stickers that read caution, portable generator warning. Next, what you want to do is open up your your panel, and this is going to be specific to your panel, guys. Whichever interlock kit you get needs to go well with the style of, of panel and breakers that you have. So in this case, this should fit here, which is going to go like this, guys. You want to make sure you set it to where it's going to work. Mark your holes and then take off all these six screws, right? Next, what you want to do is remove these, these screws, right? Because you want to expose these circles and this is what we're gonna, we're gonna color in on the panel so we can mark everything. Once you got the screws removed, you go ahead and take these two pieces. I'm gonna try and show you guys one-handed, but it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a little difficult. So you're gonna take that piece, right? And mark it where you, where you think it'll fit well. And you're gonna mark your three holes you also want to use the secondary plate and know the range that it's going to slide up and down because you want to put it the right place. I marked my three holes where I'm going to drill. And let me show you the fitment. So I pretty much put it just as close as possible as I could get to the black 200 amp box or breaker, whatever you want to call it. So I put it as close as I can. I think that's going to be a good fitment so it could slide down when this is off and it can slide up whenever this one is off. You're gonna to wanna to remove all these six screws. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can remove this panel. Once you remove it out, then you can draw your holes and set this in place. Just get your small little screw, screwdriver, and just break all these. Just break all these and get them all loose. All right, guys, and I got the panel removed. Just get you your little set of drills, match the hole. That's gonna correspond with the, whatever drill size drill you need. Now that we have our three holes drilled, let's go ahead and set our, our interlock kit in there. Now that you went ahead and installed your, your interlock kit with your screws and bolts and all that good stuff, uh, just test it out, make sure it slides pretty good before you install it. Give it one last look, make sure it's nice and tight. Finished product right here. This is a, I believe this is a pretty damn good fitment. This is as tight as you can get it guys. So this here is my 50 amp breaker for my generator. So this is off as you can see. And I got my main breaker for my house. The so 200 amp is on. If I ever need to turn on my generator, I have to shut this off. This is what this interlock kit allows you to do just run one system at a time so if i want to shut if i want to run my generator i need to shut this off flip the switch right if this is off the switch will this interlock kit will go up and then i'm able to turn this on and that's how this will work guys i also installed that that warning sticker but yeah guys this is a finished product you can also get these in uh different colors and different uh sizes as well like i said guys this is specific for your your panel and your breakers and you can get that information here on the inside like mine for example it's a siemens catalog number all that good stuff so just check yours be specific with it and for those of y'all wondering this is a generator that i went for for my specific uh my specific needs i went with the westinghouse 9,500 running watts, 12,500 peak watts. I'll do another video uh, on this generator. Uh, kind of the quick review, how to get it up and running, add oil, gas, all that good stuff. It's like, as like you see, I have right here. But yeah, guys, I'll do another video up here. I also have the power cord, which is gonna get connected to this box right here. Like I said, guys, a lot of good stuff happening. If you like this kind of content, please comment down below and I'll do more videos on this as well. And I hope this helped guys. If you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.